go over uh, uh, what we're looking at. So um, here is our outer edge or our slingshot uh, outer zone trade. Uh, this is one uh, yesterday we talked about before it exploded to the upside. Um, I'll give you about a 30-minute heads up on it. Uh, let's go over exactly how you want to use uh, the indicator strategy. Um, uh, Jiro has uh, all the programs that we went over yesterday, and he's wrapping these new programs for you. This is one of the programs you're going to be getting is the uh, uh, outer zone, or we call the outer edge buy setup. Um, what will happen is we have a zone. These are zones right here. This is our, our zone that we have back tested for over 30 years of data. So it's our highest probability reversal zone. This is the S&P. And you can see that when you get into this outer edge, outer edge zone, you get into this outer edge zone here, um, it lets you know that you have a possible reversal in the S&P. Now the cool thing about this is we have the indicator and the strategy for you that we're wrapping and getting out to you guys. So this can be uh, indicator based, meaning once this yellow candle fires, you will get an audible alert that comes off on your speakers indicating to you on this setup at 50.97 a quarter that the SP is possibly reversing and uh, we're all the way up to 06 already, uh, almost 10 points on the S&P from this buy setup. So this is called our, um, it'll be named the Outer Edge, uh, SIM Outer Edge Setup. Uh, like I said, it'll be two things. It'll be an indicator. I'll show you the strategy in a second. We have an indicator based, um, bear with my voice here, guys. We have an indicator with an alarm for your speakers when this fires off. And two, if you want a strategy in, meaning use the ninja strategy, you can strategy in, which I'll show you in a second. So you have an indicator of strategy. So it's kind of cool if, if you're an indicator-based trader, no worries. Uh, we come to our outer zone uh, that's been tested over time, um, and you get a reversal. So the key for this setup is this, is that you want to get outside of this outer zone right here. It's got to get outside, and then the candle's got to close back inside. So once it closes back inside, that candle's automatically going to turn yellow, and then you're going to get a, um, you're going to get a uh, audible alert in your speaker, and then you're going to get, um, um, you're going to get an audible alert. This uh, uh, is a zone breakout. So the second setup we have in our room is called a zone breakout. And a zone breakout is where um, where the market doesn't get a deep retracement. It gets more of a shallow retracement, and the market is getting a shallow retracement, and it's looking to not get into this outer zone, but it stays above our zone because there's a trend filter. If it's green, we're buying. If it's red, we're selling. So this is where all the counter trend traders uh, got taken to the woodshed yesterday because they kept shorting the market. Well, our zone breakout called the breakout at 50, 81, and three quarters, and it went as high as 51. Uh, 5107 and three quarters. And so just a beautiful move uh, right around 27, 28 points on the S&P on the breakout. But let's concentrate on the outer zone for one second because this is a setup that I gave way before it happened. So when I got in the room yesterday on the microphone right here, I was talking about this setup around 835, 840. I gave you almost an hour heads up. We talked about it all the way to 9 o'clock. Hour, uh, for 30, 35 to 40 minutes, I really went over this, saying if we get into this outer zone, look for an outer zone trade. So look how big a heads up you get. Uh, we start talking about this at 8.35 on the mic, all the way to 9 o'clock. And at 9.30, or at 9.40, I'm sorry, this is my time of day trade. Everybody knows about it. Everybody knows that 9.40 is one of my best trading time zones to look for reversals. Um, it, it, it came down inside the zone. You guys were prepared for it. A lot of you traders got on it uh, via your uh, text in the room. You got down into the zone. You closed at least one candle inside of it. We got a reverse back inside of it. It reversed. The candle turned yellow. Your, uh, your audible alert will go off, and the auto uh, strategy will get you in at that level. 
at 57 and a half, 57 and three quarters, and then it just rambled all the way up to 77. So 20 S&P point potential move for you traders. I keep telling traders that after you have an outer zone slingshot, you have a high probability zone breakout, which we did there, and we had a zone breakout. So now we're looking right here, we're looking for a zone breakout right now. So as we look at the, if we get another close outside of this level, we're in an imbalanced market, we're going to have a zone breakout, this candle is going to turn yellow. So let me get this out of the way so I don't, I don't hide this setup coming up right now. We have a zone breakout coming out currently. Uh, we do have uh, a strategy to go with this. This is what your indicator is going to look like. Um, this is the indicator itself and a strategy that you're going to get. I have all the settings preset for you guys. I got all the everything set for you. This is a 12 sim Renko, a 12 sim Renko going 90 days back. So obviously we all know past performance is not indicative of future results. So I, I, I want to make sure you guys understand that. But um, we do we, we can see the uh, how the uh, strategy performed over the last 90 days. And you can see on the last 90 days it's done quite well. In fact, this week is just really done well. Um, so you can see since uh, uh, all the way we're down to around just under this mark right here since uh, going 30 days back with four contracts. So it's done very, very, very well um, as far as that goes, as far as the strategy. Uh, so we know that statistically speaking, this outer zone does very, very well. Not only with the outer zone has been tested 30 years, with an artificial intelligence program, uh, we know we've seen it in the room. We've seen it in the room. It just it comes down. Bounce. I mean, this is just not by luck that it comes down, gets in this outer zone, takes off. Outer zone takes off. Outer zone takes off. Yesterday, um, I gave you a big heads up on it, um, and then we were talking about it way back here at this level, 835 to 840. I was talking about watch for the outer zone. Watch for the outer zone, and it comes down gets back inside, uh, indicator would fire a yellow uh, bar here. The strategy got long at 50 and three quarters. It got as high as 50, uh, like I said, 50, 76. And the strategy had a nice trade of 50, 71. Getting to the outer zone, looking for that follow through. Now, I have this only trading on the strategy, on that statistical, uh, statistically speaking, um, between power hour from nine to 10. I have that set up for your own computers. Now, it doesn't mean that um, if you put it in a time zone, it won't fire the arrow again for you. Meaning, right here, if we look at uh, where was last week's it happened a couple days ago, actually a couple days ago. So here, I had it during power hour to fire at this level. So it had another big one though. It came outside. Your alarm will still go off. So if you just have the strategy trading between a certain time window. It will still go off, and it will um, it will fire the arrow with the alarm system there also. So just a neat little strategy. Uh, like I said, um, it's called the outer edge window. You can see this morning or yesterday, uh, Sal, good job, by the way, calling this out. Um, with trend, it's, it's Sal or Aaron called this out with trend, uh, one of you guys. But this is a um, this was a nice trade because... This is an outer edge with trend. Those are even better because you, that we were outside a high value area. We broke out and it got running. Uh, that's an outer edge, outer edge. You can see outer edge, it likes to bounce. Uh, your stop, let's go over stops. Stops would be below on this last one, would be below your swing initially. I have on a 12 Simrinko right here, 12 Simrinko, I have a 15 tick stop. So on this strategy, I have for you, I have a 15 tick stop. If you notice, you come into the strategy. I got my time windows right here. If you look at the time windows, get this out of the way. I've got a 15 tick card stop. And then we got targets. Uh, I have a thousand target here, here but uh, typically you want to do it like this. Here's what I'm going to send out to you guys. It'll be eight tick target for the first target, break even plus one after the first target right here, break even plus one, then 12 ticks, 20 ticks, and 1,000 ticks. 
I got 21 trail, 21 trail, 33, 33. So if I click that on and I statistically look at it the last 30 day, or 90 days, how it's performed on this algo taking trades based upon only outer edge trades from the power hour of 9 to 11, then stat-wise, I'm going to show you exactly what we're looking at. Um, you can see how we got rejected up here. So we had a trade here on the outer edge. Look how we never got pulled in. No yellow bar came. This is a trigger bar. This yellow is a trigger bar to get in. Just like back here on that big giant run we had yesterday, it gave us a yellow trigger bar right exactly when that bar closed. Alarm went off. 81 and a half all the way to 08. 30 point move. So an alarm went off here on this deep retracement there also. Now we didn't get one. We got rejected. So we're going to look to buy this breakout here this morning once it breaks out because we're above market profile. We're in an imbalanced market. So once we get outside of this level of 5108, we should get another buy set up to break us out to another level. So those are the two setups we, we, we like to, to do. Now, the, all the, the software program, the new software is already coded. Everything's done. Uh, you'll get three programs. You're going to get, um, you're going to get the, um, the outer edge trade, or, or what we call it a slingshot. We're going to get the zone breakout trader, which is here, the SIM zone breakout trader. And I added a bonus. I, I added a bonus, and I, I, it's a... Um, uh, this one is a, uh, um, here's another bonus trade. This is a scalper. And we have a scalper also where it's going to scalp the market. Um, it's going gonna, it's gonna to scalp the market for you also. So this one. One second. Here's the, here's the Dow. So this this will scalp the market for you. If I look at statistically speaking, uh, they do very very well um, scalping the market. Like I said, past performance is not indicative of future results, guys. This is educational software, but you can see it does very very well on scalping. Um, on as far as this is just the Dow. And um, I use 8 to 12 tick targets on these. Um, but statistically speaking, over the last 90 days on both of these, uh, they perform uh, well. When can you cannot use a scalper? You don't want to use it. Uh, you probably heard my other ninja trader. Uh, that's a scalper running in the background. Um, you don't want to use it in, um, uh, you don't want to use it at five till, uh, uh, five minutes before news events, five minutes after news events. I mean, five minutes that 10 minute window, five minutes prior to news events, and, and five minutes after news events, or like uh, it got stopped out yesterday right at the New York Open, and then it had a lot of trades that worked out after the New York Open. So I don't like running it at the New York Open also. Um, that was one of my stopouts yesterday uh, on it. Um, it likes to uh, uh, trade in between there, though. Um, anytime there's no news, you just run the scalper. It can be run 23 out of 24 hours a day. Um, and it likes to scalp the market. Um, you know, this is called my scalper trade. It will be called Sim Scalper. So you'll get that also. Uh, like I said, the performance, uh, past performance is not indicative of future results. But, you know, like I said, uh, this is just scalping the market. It's around uh, over 90 plus percent uh, over the last 90 days in outside of new, uh, news events. Uh, so that's something I will do also. I will be shutting this off. Um, uh, all mem uh Current members will all get this new scalper. Um, I'm going to shut this new scalper off probably to uh, a total of X amount of traders that come in. Uh, you'll still be able to get um, you'll still be able to get the uh, this outer edge trade and the zone push trader. Um, but the outer edge, um, I'm only going to do with current members and uh, new members that come in. Um, I will have an X amount of members that get shut off. I'll probably shut off to 50 traders on the scalper. Only the reason being is. Is it um, liquidity? I don't want to have liquidity problems with it if traders are trading at 2 a.m. in the morning or 6 p.m. at night. Um, so because we're looking for a small little range. Um, if a trader decides to leave the software, uh, then uh, you can be put on the list 
and then you can look for the scalper trade also. So um, this is one software I'm going to limit. Uh, these other software programs I will not. So just heads up on that um, uh, as far as the scalper trade goes. But you current members, you are good to go. All right. Hey, hey good morning, Francisco. Uh, Francisco. Uh, so uh, th that's what we're looking at this morning. We're looking at, let's look at the uh, uh, not past 90 days. This, this, out of all the programs, okay, whether it be Zone Breakout or the Scalper, um, I love this program here, uh, the Outer Edge, because of the consistency of it, because the market loves to go on the Outer Edge edge of the market, Outer Edge, likes to explode out of it, but like statistically speaking, like I said, it's the Power Hour. I love the Power Hour. So if I go back and I look at Power Hour, and I look at it, and I look at the last 30 days, 11.23 to 2.23, now remember, Past performance is not indicative of future results. This is educational software. You know, I want to make sure we're clear with that. That you know, you know, we're, we're not guaranteeing that this thing's going to do exactly what it did the last 90 days, and uh, that's why you guys sign risk disclosures and risk disclaimers before you even attempt auto trading or strategy trading or so on. We all know that uh, as traders, but just to make sure you're aware, we got to say say those disclaimers to make sure that you guys are aware of that. But if you can look at it. Uh, statistically speaking, it has been kicking some major butt. I mean, if this, you look at this this trader, um, uh, it's been yesterday over a thousand trade, thousand trade, fifteen. Just in the last three days, uh, this using my eight tick target, twelve tick target, twenty tick target, thousand tick target with a twenty one trail off of a twelve Simrinko. Statistically speaking, this thing has been on fire. If you look at it, the month of February by itself. And we look at the monthly uh, total. It's just it. It's only the what yeah, February twenty third. Uh, look what it's performed uh, just off that right now. So it's done very very well. And like I said, past performance is and not indicative of future results. But at least you get an idea of why we back tested these zones for thirty years and how consistent this program is. Um, and so I I love this setup. Um, you guys are starting to love this setup because you know the consistency of it. You know that if we get to the outer edge on the S&P, we're going to go. Now, what other markets have I tested the outer edge trade on? I've, we only statistically tested the S&P the past 30 years. All right. So uh, fortunately, we had one of our long-term members that had an AI program that tested this for the last past three years. We appreciate her doing that. And big thanks to her. Thank you for helping us out. Statistically speaking, these are the best zones that we came up with. All right on the S&P because it takes a while to run these AI programs or what have you. So um, we, we have not tested any other programs on the outer edge trade. D does it mean it uh, does it mean it does I mean does it mean that it doesn't work on other programs? No. So the outer edge trade is still ran on these other programs. This is crude oil. Let's take a look at outer edge trades. So it still works on outer edge trades. Uh, on here's an outer, outer outer edge trade on crude oil. It gets to the outer edge, and it will still fire on these other markets. There's a big outer edge trade on crude oil of uh, 77.57, got as high as what 38. So just almost what 80 80 tick move on crude oil. There's another outer edge trade on crude crude oil, so it still works, and your alarm will still go off on these other markets. Um, there's another outer edge on crude oil, nine o'clock. Uh, this is great. Love crude oil right after the pit opens at 9 o'clock. Another big trade on the outer edge trade. 76.84 potential all the way to 49. These are not scalping trades, guys. The outer edge trade. Um, and the one thing I want you to get from this is the combos. The combo is you get the outer edge trade right into a zone breakout. I love when this happens. Uh, the combo, that's why we're waiting for another breakout currently on the S&P as we speak. I love it. It comes here, and it comes right into it. That's what happened on the S&P yesterday. This one almost hit the outer edge trade, uh, but it never fired a yellow arrow because it never closed below it. I want deep retracements like that. So it still fires on these other markets. All right. Right now, crude oil, uh, we had a zone breakdown and a zone breakdown today and a zone breakdown. So crude oil has had three zone breakdowns since the midnight last night. Big trade on, on the zone breakdown at 3 a.m. this morning. Um, and here is your 630 breakdown, and we've had a breakdown at 806. What are these trail dots? These trail dots are just indicating the market is weak. The market is weak after a zone breakdown. is showing that market has momentum to that side. That's what those mean. Okay. Um, they do come up a lot on 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 um, on the Nasdaq futures. Now, 
if you look at the Nasdaq futures, we just had a zone uh, outer edge trade at 8.05. I mean, they come up a lot, all right? If you're trading, if you look at this last trade, it's just a doozy. It just happened uh, uh, at 8 o'clock this morning. But the, the, what I want to get through to you guys is this. Well, for the Nasdaq to get so many trades, it's so fast. It's, it is a wicked animal that, you know, you get so many trades. But I like this combination. I like it's going into an outer edge trade and then going into zone breakout. All right, outer edge zone, zone breakout. My favorite market on the outer edge trade is the S&P. Why? It's the S&P because statistically speaking is it performs the best because of what? There's volume in it. There's a lot of volume in the S&P. But it doesn't mean it doesn't work in other markets. Uh, these still work in all markets, whether it be uh, any stock, any futures, any Forex, any currency. This even works on crypto. Um, I looked at it with Bitcoin and uh, other different markets. It works in those also. It's the same type of setup. So it works in universal and all markets right across the board. Okay, so uh, that is the um, the fastest market that we have in the room. This is a, the live room we're running now. This is the fastest market. If you're not used to trading uh, fast markets, you don't want to trade the NASDAQ. NASDAQ is a fast beast. I mean, it's fast. You know, it moves so quick. So just heads up on that. But um, that's what you're going to get, guys. You can get the indicator and strategy. Uh, we're wrapping everything up for you members. You will get the zone. Uh, like I said, the other one will get the um, uh, the bonus. There we go. We'll get the um, we'll get the zone breakout, and then you'll get the um, uh, most of you traders uh, since you're under the window. We'll get the the bonus uh, scalper also.